Uh, I get to tell jokes to other comedians at another open mic. And that's not as fun, because telling your jokes to other comedians is like showing your shaved pussy to a room full of gay dudes. <laughs> they're like, yes, girl, at first, and they're like, bitch, get that away from me. <laughs> and if you're like me, you're like, I worked hard on this, look at it. Dude in the back is like, nah, it's harder to shave balls. <laughs> Guess what, sir? It's not. I've done both, okay? I'll tell you why it's easier for women to shave men's balls. No, actually, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why men, it's easier for them to shave. Because they just take their nuts and squeeze them and make like a sack with it and then just shave the circumference of the sack, right? A lot of dudes not laughing right now because I spilled their secret. <laughs> You know you can do it, and now all these ladies do too. They're gonna go home and squeeze your nuts right after the show. <laughs> I see that lady comedian was right. <laughs> That's true. Dudes can just. Have you ever tried to shave a vagina? It's fucking difficult. It's terrifying. Women can't just inflate their genitals to make it easier. I know. I tried. <laughs> Women cannot inflate their genitals because if we did, we'd run the fucking world. Your mother would be the scariest human being in your entire life. If women can inflate their genitals, Hillary Clinton would have been president six fucking times by now. Pufferfish, 2016, yeah! Now you guys know how I'm gonna vote! Just kidding, I vote Republican. Oh, I can't vote. And she goes, ugh. No, I can't vote at all, I'm a felon. So no big deal. That's <laughs> it, was an aw. I did something real bad to become a felon, so please don't say aw. No big deal. Uh, a lot of people ask me, they're like, Cass, why do you look like that? Like, what is this thing? Like, what are you doing with that? Like, what? why do you look like that? And the answer to that question is pornography has taught me that all delivery drivers are down to fuck. So, just kept calling and ordering and calling and ordering. Got a couple guys to come inside me a couple times. And that is why I look like this. It's true. Uh, another reason why I look like this is because I have fast food addiction. Yeah, no one claps for that because I don't believe it's real. Right? You've never seen an intervention episode where someone sucked a dick for nuggets. <laughs> so to you, it's not a real thing. But it is. It's an addiction. It's bad. If I was a crackhead, you'd be like, you're so brave. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I know I have fast food addiction because I went six weeks on a diet without eating any fast food. And just like a crackhead, I had a bad day and I went to my dealer. And I got my number 10, large size with my orange soda and barbecue sauce. And I did what any normal woman would have done in that situation. I went straight behind that Walmart in the parking lot and ate it shamefully alone in my car. <laughs> Threw that bag crumpled up under my seat. No one would ever find that evidence because when women cheat, we cheat for life. Till the next day, I got into my car. I was sitting down on the floorboards, staring at me as a fucking french fry. <laughs> Evidence <laughs> that I had cheated. And that french fry hit me so hard, it reminded me that I cheated on my diet, but it was like I cheated on a real person. That french fry might as well have just been like a cock and ball staring at me like, you know you did it, you slut. I feel shame. <laughs> so I did what any normal person would do in that high pressure situation I bent down. And I picked up that french fry and I was going to get rid of it. I rolled down my window a little bit and I fucking ate it! <laughs> it's an addiction, do you believe me now? My intervention episode where I suck a dick for nuggets will be coming out soon. So please watch for that. Uh, you know. uh, the guy at the McDonald's drive through thinks I have a crush on him because I go there a lot. He sees me. And when he sees me, he goes, oh, back again today, huh? I don't know what the fuck that means, boy. I don't like you. I just like nuggets and orange soda. Get out of my way. <laughs> then I thought about it. I was like, oh, shit, no. Maybe he doesn't like me at all. Maybe he's just like, back again today, huh? Because he's genuinely surprised I came back. 
It's like, shit, she eats here two or three times a day sometimes. I'm just glad she's still alive. I'm back again. I'm glad you're back again today, ma'am. She must be loving it. It's really gross. It's terrible. Um, I had a cold sore one time when I went to the drive thru It was very embarrassing. I knew the drive thru boy would see it, and I was like, oh no, my slut shame. And I felt bad. Oh, I know this town. Like, all of you don't have one. I know you do. I'm just lucky that the herpes are on my mouth. That's how I look at it. But I had a cold sore on my face, and I didn't like it. It's no good. Cold sores are bad business, right? They're bad for business, ladies. Let's just admit it. A cold sore is just like a billboard for your face that says, I make bad decisions with my mouth hole. <laughs> Put your balls right there. <laughs> See, almost all dudes laugh at that joke because they're like, yes! <laughs> They've been waiting a long time. Yeah. And then uh, one time I had a cold sore and the same week I had a yeast infection. <laughs>